Blog Talk Radio. Here at ACO Radio, American Communications Online, or any affiliated stations or websites are not responsible for what guest hosts or call-ins may say. All programming is intended for informational and entertainment purposes only. Morris and American Communications Online with TJ Morris ET Radio. So welcome aboard all you ground troops spinning around smartly on the planet for how many years have you been spinning around on what we call home Earth Gaia? Well tonight we're helping people learn more about other people in our category spirituality. And uh, we're going to discuss some artwork that uh, is special to a certain person and why uh, art has helped uh, people express who they are and how they are and what they are. And I'm just really excited to get to know a new person tonight. And Suzanne Wyman Flynn and uh, Rich Flynn will be here. And uh, they live in California, Dana Point, and uh, they're going to introduce us to Jack Rutherford. And I get... okay. <laughs> How are you today? Okay, I think I can hear Jack. But go ahead. You want to introduce yourself, Suzanne? Yeah. Hey, it's Suzanne Wyman Flynn, the Power Psychic, and it's so nice to be here. TJ, it's so nice to hear your voice. And uh, <laughs> um, we just held on in time, I think. Hey, Jack, you're on the you're, you're live on the radio, Jack. Yeah, well, Jack, I'll, I'll try to keep introduce I'll try to yourself. Keep it yeah, well, I'll do that. Introduce yourself. So, you're you're live. Well, I'm Jack Rutherford. I'm an artist, and I'm coming from Spain, and I'm uh, working here now in, in uh, Latin America and the states and. Europe, a little bit of everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So uh-huh. I kind of ex- exhibit different places, and so it's quite a, it's an exciting world to work. Mm-hmm. It so, is. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So hi, Jack. It's Hello. Jack. Yeah. yeah. Jack, it's just, TJ. Just... Say hi to TJ for me. Hi, TJ. How are you? <laughs> hi, Jack. <laughs> I saw your YouTube. You're a wonderful artist and a wonderful teacher. I'm very impressed with you on YouTube. Uh, uh, tell us a little about yourself. I've got some people here. I don't know how many of these people are your family, but uh, quite a few people it looks like. They're all on, just so everybody knows. So you'll have to tell Jack and me who you are with Suzanne. Uh yeah. Seven one four four hundred. I think that's Suzanne. And who's seven one four three four eight? Is that is that? Uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Suzanne's not here right now. Okay. okay. Maybe that's, Rich. That's, what's, the, what's the number here? That's me. Rich Flynn. Okay, Rich Flynn. 
Uh, Rich is also an artist, richflynn.com, and tonight we're really excited to have everybody here that's here tonight. Is there anybody else I need to expect, Suzanne, because, uh, you know, other people coming in that are going to talk about our Ace Folk Life Society? Not tonight, unless we get some surprise callers. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rich, uh, Rich, are you on a different line than Jack? Yes. No, no, he's he's on the. uh, I'm holding. I'm holding his phone right now. Okay. Okay. Let's. Let's, uh, Suzanne, get everybody introduced for us, and okay. well, some people will. We'll just sit here and listen for a few minutes. Jack, I'm real excited to hear about your life story, and Suzanne and Rich is going to help prompt us so we can create this great, wonderful show tonight in honor of well, Jack so- Harris Rutherford. So go hey, ahead, Jack. Suzanne. Hey, get us Jack. Started. Can you- okay, great. It's Suzanne Wyman Flynn. Jack, can you hear me? Clear as a bell? Yeah, I can, I can hear you fine. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Good. It's, good. It's, 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 it's all right. So you started out in Long Beach, California, and your mother took you to get some watercolor art lessons when you were 11 years old. And That's you studied right. Exactly. With, yeah, and you started with a, studied with a man who was at the time a very eminent watercolor teacher, painter. And, That's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, and so start start there. How how? Yeah. What was his name? I think of his name as Hans. I remember Hans Wexler, and then I can't remember. Oh, Axel. No, that's that's pretty close there. Yeah, the uh, that was a watercolor teacher. He lived right up the alley. They used to walk up there and they'd, they'd give me lessons. He's he's quite a character. He's a collector also. So the place was like a little museum. <laughs> and I was 11 years old. I was I was odd. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very, yeah. Very and, and then after yeah. that, you ended up studying with um, another man, and I want to say his name was Carl, and his Carl. last and what was his last Stace. name? His last name was Stacey. Stacey. Yeah. Stacey. Yeah. He was, he was Viennese actually. Okay. He's American, but he, he, he's from Vienna, and uh, he was quite uh, an eye opener for you know, culture in general and, and philosophy. And you know, I studied with him. I think I started when I was about 11 years old, and then I had a girlfriend. She took me down there, so that was <laughs> that, that Polish meal. I kept going there for some years. Okay, okay. And when we go online and we look at his page, you can see a whole page of your artwork. Included oh, well, in that that's page, good. and he um, apparently was really um, famous for doing um, what is it? Uh, an architectural style of painting, where he did mm-hmm. openings, groin vaulting, and he did it in paintings. It was quite elaborate. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed some of that. That was quite nice. Yeah, it was, it was sort of one period of, of, of my work when I did that, and. Uh, then the rest of it gets uh, much more expressionistic, I think. Okay. So it's, okay. okay. And, and uh, what? And it change, changes all the time, of course. Right. So today you've done you've done so many different things throughout your life. You worked as a um, you did your teaching when you were at the Finca in south right. of Spain, and right, exactly, you. Yeah. Arts and growth, and you had people would come for two weeks, and they would stay in your home, and they would paint and do That's yoga, right, yeah, yeah. eat yeah. a vegetarian diet, and get exactly. into the <laughs> the entire spiritual journey. And at one point, you told me about a book written by Henry Miller, and it's called "To Paint Is to Love Again." Oh, and oh, yeah. He, yeah, and he talked about how. If he'd had a great day of writing, he would paint, and sometimes he would get as many as eight paintings done. And so his idea was that if a person was really doing what they loved, they could return to painting, and it would revitalize him. And he, of course, was quite popular in Big Sur, 19, I think it was the 1940s and 50s. 
Yeah, and, I just did that there one time. Yeah. yeah. Big Sur. Uh, Big Sur. And of course, of course, uh, Henry Miller was <sighs> mentored and um, supported financially as a patron by Anais Nin. And so I always love to bring Anais Nin into any story. So Anais course, Nin, yeah. yeah, Anais Nin, she was the one who was the patron, and he was married to June Miller, who was, of course, a famous Broadway star. But that book, To Paint to Love Again, is just an inspiration. If you get back to painting and the time for painting, you revitalize your soul and your spirit, and then you're able to return to a more balanced place. And it doesn't matter if you're a doctor or if you are a writer or you are a dancer. If you go back to painting, you're revitalized. And it's such an inspiring process um, I enjoyed it so much. So um, I really, I really liked the um, ar- article about online, and it talks about how you were part of a group of artists, and you were living on. I think it was said Lake Chapas. Is that right? How do you, you know, say Lake, that? Lake Chapala. Lake Chapala. Lake Chapala. It's, it's the biggest lake in uh, in, in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, a be- it's a beautiful place in a place called Ahihik and Chapala is the next town there. And quite a few of the uh, famous people, like uh, uh, Millers and different ones, uh, would come there and stay in Chapala. And then, of course, it became quite a refuge for German artists as well after mm-hmm. the war. And so they had submarine commanders and all sorts of things. So, and then very wealthy people, uh, they came in as well. And uh, mm-hmm. no, it was, it was kind of hit a, it hit a high point there. Now it's, now it's pretty well crowded with. Uh, with tourists and that sort of thing. Right. So talk talk about um, your friends, Peter um, Hoff. I I want to say Huff, but it's Hoff, and his wife Eunice Hunt. And oh, how, Hunt, yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're brilliant, brilliant people, really very nice. I saw them last time in Europe, and then uh, I, well, it's been some years now, and uh, they were both very active in the arts. And uh, she was very good. She was she was sort of the star, I think, and really, right. really very, very talented. Right, right. So, so okay, so um, we did um, Carl Seth, Seth Eller, um Hans so Ox, yeah, and then Hans Axel Wallin. Is that how you say it? W A L L E N. Yeah, Wallin. Wallin, yeah. Wallin. That's true. And then, and then there's that chapter of where there you are in the city, there you are down in Mexico, and you have um, this family, and you have a wife, and you've got four sons, and you're working as an artist, and you're trying to make a living, and share with us the journey to being becoming an incredibly talented uh, artist today in the world. You have shown oh, all over Europe. All over America, all over Mexico. I mean, you really have hit. You really have hit the continents with uh, showing your art and displaying your talent. So, no, share with us been, a little I'm, of that. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Well, I went to Mexico without any expectation. I just bought a. Uh, uh, you know, I had no. I, I never left the country before, and so I just bought a big. Uh, what did you call them? A station well, wagon. Uh, At first, it was a station wagon and piled everybody in, and <laughs> and drove down to drove down to Mexico. It was just sort of a, uh, without you know without any advance warning of what I was getting into, <laughs> and uh, of course I got into a marvelous marvelous place and a very receptive place to people. So I, I loved Mexico. So I fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. Well, and so it, it stayed stayed for some years. Mm-hmm. So that was from uh, like 1963 to 1971. You were, <laughs> you, yeah, you were living as a, um, what do they call it? They call it the Patriots. You were, a, you were a Patriot living in a foreign country, pursuing the arts and living a life. <laughs> yeah, spiritual it was growth. A beautiful, life. beautiful life. Yeah, I did the arts and growth school. I started that concept sometime in Mexico and. Uh, so I always put the two together, arts and growth. So I always think of it as being spiritual as well as uh, uh, just uh, skillful. So it's sort of going beyond skills. And there's a philosophy as well that, that interests me quite a bit. And mm. so, and uh, and, it, and it works. I have a lot of uh, 
a lot of students actually all over the world, and so it's kind of kind of gratifying. And I, I had some. Hmm. Hmm. That's good. 